Uh, one of the things I'd like to kind of summarize in terms of what we're saying, we're hearing the, uh, a theology of mission that is very much precious blood. And it really comes out of, a, of an understanding of the church that the church is a mission. It doesn't have a mission. It is a mission. That's the church. The church is a mission, and we remember that ascension command. The last thing Jesus had to say as he was leaving was, go to all the world, baptizing the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? He didn't say, go form little, small faith communities, hold hands, pray together, make sure you follow the rules when you do it. Okay? That wasn't the command. The command as a church was to go out. And so what we know is that to be a church is to have a mission, to live a mission. So, little show of hands. Have you ever said, I am a disciple of Christ? Or would you say, I am a disciple of Christ? Show of hands. I want to see more hands in this. Would you say, I am a disciple of Christ? Okay? Good. Would you say, I am a missionary? Maybe a few less hands. A lot of hands. I'm happy to see a lot of hands. We'll come back to that. One of the things that we believe as a church is we continue the mission of Jesus. Now, how do we do that? And how do we help as pastors of churches? We asked, how do we help our parishes to be missionaries? There was a document that came out in 1997 from the bishops, bishops' conference here in the United States. It was called uh, Call to Global Solidarity, the International Challenge for U.S. Parishes. And in that, what it talked about is that if you are going to be a Catholic parish, the measure of that is how well you go out, how well you go out from yourself. The measure of being Catholic was not how many people were in the pews on Sunday. It was not about how many organizations you have. It was none of those things. The measure of Catholicity is how well you go out. Now, how do you do that? And one of the things we tried to do, as as Mark uh, continues to do, as we did with Mike Gable's uh, direction, we tried to have relationships as communities here that we would have relationships with our communities in the South, mostly, in Guatemala, Chile, and Peru. And it was a way of us here to be Catholic. It was a way for us to be missionary. And that was really, that's really key, I think, for all of us. How are we going to do that? And it's about the relationships that we hear Tom talk about, Barry talk about, others talk about, we're going to hear some witness talks about it. It's about entering into a mutuality of relationship that we're willing to go to somebody and enter in to get to know them. So these people that we come and when we encounter them, we say, you know, these people aren't like us. These are other than us. But somehow by entering into a relationship and and being accompaniment with them to encounter them, as, as Pope Francis talks about, they no longer, at some point in that relationship, they are no longer other. Now they're us. Now they're us. They're just a brother or sister. They speak a different language. They have different ways. They do things differently, but they're us. And that's what we want to do within our parishes. And there's a way of doing that as a parish. You know, you don't have to be in a twinning relationship to be a missionary parish. But in some significant way, you have to look beyond yourself. As Barry said, you've got to stop looking at your navel. And you have to start looking someplace else. So how are you going to do that as a parish? Now, there's many, many ways to do that. You know, how do you, how do you reach out? How are you going to be, uh, do that? We have ways of helping to do that. That's part of what we do through, through Mark's office. But in some way, you have to be willing to look outside of yourself. Now, that's communally as a parish, but I'm saying it's also true for us individually. You know, Pope Francis talks about, he frequently talks about missionary discipleship. With with Pope Francis, within the church, a church that is mission, there is no other kind of discipleship other than missionary discipleship. 
And in much the same way as a parish needs to stop looking at their navel and have some significant outreach beyond themselves, doesn't have to be to South Chile, but something outside of themselves if they're going to be authentically Catholic. In the same way for us in our own lives of faith, if we're going to be disciples of Christ, we need to be missionary. If we're going to be truly Catholic, we have to somehow be willing to look outside of ourselves. Now, that has a consequence for us. That has a consequence, and it changes us. We're going to have the witness talks of that, where people talk about how did being in a twinning affect the parish. We've heard from individual missionaries how being in that relationship helped change them and have, uh, has formed uh, their faith. But to be missionary ourselves is about our hearts and about our feet. Hearts have to be open so that we love others as Christ would love them, that our hearts are open so that as we encounter others, we see Christ present already in them. And it's about allowing our feet to take us to places that are a little uncomfortable, where we know we are in places where the people around us are somehow not us yet. But yet, through the relationship that we have with them, we come to discover they are exactly us. And we are in communion with them as brothers and sisters. We are in solidarity with them as brothers and sisters. So is your parish Catholic? It's not about what you do just on Sunday morning. Is your parish Catholic? Are you also a missionary disciple? Do you live that faith? As missionaries of the precious blood, that's always been our call. That's the call of all that we seek to live with and to serve with. So we're going to hear, I guess, Jeff is going to introduce the... I'll shut up. As soon as you turn off the mic, yeah. (laughs) And it's just like this in Rome. (laughs) 